Don't apologize for who you are if you're sure who you are is a good person. Hi guys and welcome to Lika's Views. My name is Lika. So if you are new here, hi, hello, what's up? How you doing now? How you doing? I am so excited that you decided to click on my video today. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a returning viewer, what's up my people? How are you? Thank you for coming back once again to this video. Today we're trying something different. We're trying to add a little bit of sass to the channel, but we'll see how it goes. So, but before we go any further, um, like, comment, subscribe. I beg you, please. <laughs> like comment and subscribe um stick around watch a few more of my content if you like this um content that i'm trying to do today trying to do something different let me know in the comment section and join the dialogue and let me know what else you want me to talk about on here all right so um don't forget to click that bell icon so that you're notified every time that i drop a video um yeah i think that's all for my intro at this point i'm still thinking I do I'm still think I still haven't mastered this intro thing sometimes I always feel like I'm missing out something but you know what I guess we all get better with time so I'm never gonna put any pressure on myself so guys welcome 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 if you like uh, the hair Hope I was still in frame as I was showing you guys this beauty oh yes so I brought the plaque to show you guys it's actually Outre Nisha 210 in the color DR4 honey brown I'm going to put it the description in the description below um, I would also add a link to this hair so yes if you know our training 210 you would know that this hair is actually was actually longer it was actually 20 inches but i cut it i got it sometime last year and so i decided i was like you know what let me i think this hair would actually be really pretty if i snip me snip and i think it lived up to its hype it's gorgeous snipped so if you have outre 210 and you're thinking oh, the tips are getting straggly i don't know what i'm gonna do with this hair cut it cut it girl add some highlights use the shaving comb at the tip i probably should have videoed how i did that i didn't think about it and i'm so sorry but let's move on to today's video so actually if you see me looking down i'm looking at my notes that's the reason why i'm looking down because i wrote a few things down because i didn't want to be all over the place today so my as you all saw from the thumbnail the title of today's video is 30 and choices so i recently turned 30 in february yay me I have um, I'm talking about friendship I'm talking about growth I'm just talking about certain choices that I am choosing to make as I am entering this new decade and choices that are going to align for these new for this new decade for me um, at the top of that list for me personally is my relationship with God my relationship with um, Jesus moving forward that is the top of my priority for this 30 30th decade right um building it making it stronger intensifying my prayer life my worship life all those things putting it all together and you know making it as solid as i possibly can because he's my rock and i am nothing i can do nothing without him so the next thing um, is the choices the second choice that I'm making for this 30 decade is um, no hustle mentality now I'm not I'm not saying that we're not going to work hard ah, see, I mean I'm we work hard 
Nigerians, that's what we do. We work hard because we like money. And I'm not an Igbo girl on top. So we, we work hard because we like to, we like the finer things of life, right? And if you like the fine things of life, you work hard at it. But I am learning that um, having a mentality of saying that hustling, that hustling mentality, I'm, I'm not about it anymore. I'm going to work hard because if you work hard, you reap the fruit of your hard work. But you see that idea of I will hustle, hustle, hustle. I don't know. I guess the best way I can explain it is that it messes with your mentality and makes you think that if you don't scrap, that you have to scrap. You don't always have to scrap. You can start from the bottom. But the mindset of of hustle. Wait, let me look up the definition of hustle. Hold on. So according to Google, right, and the term that we're using it in is to obtain by forceful action or persuasion. So the brother headed to New York to try and hustle a record deal, right? That forceful action of things. And I'm, I'm choosing not to be about that life. I'm choosing, I'm really choosing not to be about that life. Um, I think I've said enough on that. If you know, you know. Those that understand what I'm trying to say, understand what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'm not doing a great job at explaining it, but I guess the point that I'm just trying to make right now is um, I, I'm choosing to lean on God and not to lean on the fact that I'm going to work hard, but I'm not going to force things, especially if if i feel like because this is my own personal personal spiritual conviction if i feel that god is insane move at it i'm not going to force it okay number two um tr number three sorry not number two number three traveling by myself see i i came to that mindset of traveling by myself thanks to tiktok i'm telling you a lot of people are sleeping on the value that tiktok does provide if you choose to look at it as a platform for fun it can be that and there's nothing don't get me wrong there's nothing against that but it's also very educative and very enlightening and very uplifting it can be as well so the same way everything has its good side everything has its bad side so it's 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 i'm not saying it's the be all end all but the point i'm saying is traveling by myself um i started it in my late 20s and i'm definitely going to keep up at it all the way through in this 30 decade um doing more activities um i'm i've always been the kind of person that i i'm not always a little let's go to dinner i want to do something before dinner let's be active let's do something we can't just be saying uh, let's go out to eat and that's it no let's play mini golf let's take a walk let's go and paint let's go and draw let's go to the museum even if you're not into museum things let's go to the museum let's go and watch a movie let's do something activity wise something that will challenge the brain right before eating food that's always been my notion so this this 30 decade i'm always going to do that 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 is not even something new for me i'm an activity person i like to do stuff because i feel like activities create memories let's go throw a hammer at a wall it makes no sense but it's fun let's go to there are these rooms where you break stuff i don't know what it's called if you know what it's called please put the name down below where they break stuff let's go let's go and break stuff and yell let's do escape room escape room can be annoying but it's fun you know activities those kind of things um let's see what else do i have here settling for less because it's comfortable or familiar mm. i could write a whole book on this settling for less because it's comfortable or familiar a lot of times whenever we settle for less is basically because it's familiar it's comfortable but my notes that whatever the case may be i'm i'm going to be intentional about not settling for less even if it's comfortable and not be, and i won't settle for it because it's familiar i know you you know me but you are less Oh, I didn't say that right. I feel like that came out wrong. <laughs> I feel like that came out wrong. I know you. You know me. But I know that what you are about is not for me. And then I'm not going to settle for you because 
I know you and you know me. No. Mm -mm. I feel like you cross a certain age where some certain things are, are considered childish. See, some people have been of this mindset way before. I had been of this mindset, but then I lost it halfway, but I'm getting back to it. So I would say it again and again and again. No matter your age, don't settle for less because it's comfortable and because it's familiar. Because most good things, they, they might not be familiar at first. Heck, everybody's husband was once a stranger. I think that says it all, right? So, I'm, I'm being repetitive at this point, but I'm don't settle. That's the bottom line. And because it's familiar, does not make it not settling. A lot of times, sometimes, because it's familiar, that's what makes it settling. Because we know it, we're comfortable. It makes it easy. It's easy. It's not, it's not stretching us. It's not push, pushing us past our limits. So as a result, we are like, we're good. We're cool. So, none of that. Okay, let's see. What do I have here? Um, I know what I want. And that's that. In this thirtieth, in this thirtieth year, that's my that's my slogan. I know what I want, and that's that. Like, don't. I'm not going to be of that notion where I know what I want, but because I'm trying to be comfortable and cool with everyone, I'm not going to be vocal about what I want. Now, these these certain things i feel like as long as they're not hurting anybody and as long as you're not using it to hurt anybody do you do you you know so i think that one is pretty clear i think that one is pretty clear um this 30 i'm going to stop fighting god and let him mold me i think that was i should have added that to my first one i'm going to stop a lot of times where we're resistant we're resistant against the shaping and the molding and the sculpting that he's trying to do and so we don't let him do what he needs to do so and I'm, I'm going to be intentional about not fighting and how am i going to be intentional about it i think this is one area where um, a how is important not just a what right so i'm telling you what i'm going to do and now i'm telling you how how is by pray being more prayerful that's that's the only way i can allow him and not fight it because prayer is communication right so if i'm not talking to the person who's molding me to find out what do i do at this point you want me to stay you want me to move you want me to stop i'm wasting my time right let me know if you agree in the comments um what did i not touch on i did not touch on um okay one another thing also is food i'm going to do my best to be happy with my food choices see a lot of times eh, we we overthink this food thing don't get me wrong with me i'm a diet person i do diets when i need to but i don't let it run my life and I, I don't let it control me and i don't let instagram people see if there's anybody on instagram that is making you feel uncomfortable about your body or about the food choices that you make when you know that your food choices are healthy or not when you know that your food choices are not but they're making you feel uncomfortable anti mute them uncle mute them that's why the mute is there see it is and if they're offended by it if you know them and they're offended by it then they have a problem honestly if you know them and they're offended by it then there's something is really wrong because I'm not saying don't post what you want to post and I'm not about to be a troll and be condemning you and whatever it is that you're posting but rather than feel inferior to whatever it is that I'm seeing I would rather mute you I would rather mute you and I don't see why why anybody would be offended by it okay so um clothes i'm going to explore more fashion wise that's that there isn't even much english inside that i'm, I'm i've already started it i even started from beginning of this year trying to stretch my fashion limits like if i put this on this on this and this together if it looks good on me but people don't get it 
that's all that really matters that's what i think hey and then um most of the other things that i said are all connected to friendship and relationships and faith so i think that's about it yeah that's that's really about it so and i think the last thing i'll probably say to everybody is don't apologize for who you are if you're sure who you are is a good person not everybody's going to like you no matter how good you are and you can't make anybody like you so that's that okay so thank you all for sticking with me to this point so that is the end of today's video thank you all for stopping by i truly appreciate you guys for staying this long let's dialogue in the comments talk to me in the comments tell me something you know if you if you have anything else that you want to see or you want to hear from me put it in the comment section below let's chat about it um, and if you like this video let me know as well i have a bunch of other stuffs that i'm thinking about doing so um let me know if this works for you guys because i'm trying it out and i hope you guys really like it because i really like doing this like talking to the camera and talking to you guys through youtube so please let me know follow me on my social media platforms and um i will see you all in the next video bye guys